Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have the polishes I wore in June to share with you. Can you believe the year is halfway over? I, I can't. Um, uh, this is going to be a pretty short video. I only wore seven polishes this month, which I know is shocking, but it's been a busy month. So let's get started. This first one is by She, and it has the number 690. These polishes aren't really named, so they only have numbers. Um, this is a really bright blue. I don't know if this classifies as a cobalt blue, but it's a very bright blue. This was pretty easy to apply. I didn't have that many issues with it. I think it dried to like a semi-matte finish, so I don't know. I don't like that finish, so I just put on top coat and it was fine. I did two coats for this. Did I say that? I don't know. I did two coats anyway and yeah I'm really happy with it. It's very similar to one that I wore I think in May. I don't remember. Um, serum number no. five's Indiglow but obviously that one glows in the dark so it's different. Next this is by Bow Polish. This is called Treehouse. This was a really pretty polish. Unfortunately, it did take four coats to be opaque, but I didn't really mind. Um, this is a really pretty, like, grass green, I would say, polish, with tons of scattered holographic, and then also flakies, like, sort of green iridescent flakies. You can't really see them in my pictures, and they weren't really obvious on the nail anyway. Um, I wish they were, but you know. So yeah, it did take four coats, but um, the base of this is sort of jelly-ish, and you know, I didn't mind. It was pretty, and I wore it for a long time. Next, this is one of the only pink polishes that I like. Um, as you might know, I'm not a big, big pink fan, but you know, this one's fine. This is Pretty Serious Princess Plutonium. This is like a cool toned, I don't know, hot pink? I think it's called hot pink. It's not neon, it's a hot pink. And then it has black shredded glitter in it, which I just love that combination. And I think that's what makes me like it. So anyway, I did three coats for this. Um, you do sort of have to be careful to manipulate the glitter in a way to not have it stick up from the nail, but you know, if that happens, you can either file it down or just put on a thick layer of top coat. Next is a China Glaze polish. This is Metropolitan. This was also a four coater, um, which I'm not really happy about, but anyway, this is like, it comes off as like a mustard yellow in this picture or like a darker yellow, but it's supposed to be a neon orange. And I know, I guess, I don't know, I think the lines between that are very blurry. But, yeah, I liked the final product, but application was just horrible. Um, yeah, I think China Glaze, especially their older, like, pastel white-based polishes, have the issue of being both streaky and chalky, so they're not the best formula, but I do love the color, so, you know whatever. <laughs> Next we have my only glam polish. Um, I really want to get more but I only have this one right now. This is called Virgo. This is a really pretty like standard blue hollow. I really like this one. I did two coats. Um, yeah, I didn't have any issues in application. What I will note is that it's not a normal holographic per se. The polish is actually made up of like these tiny flakes or I guess I guess it's not a glass fleck because it's not technically in a jelly base. I don't know. I don't I'm not sure. Um but it has like silver and blue almost flecks. I don't know, it's hard to describe. Um if you have this polish you probably know what I'm talking about. But you know it comes off as a pretty standard holographic. So yeah two coats like I said. Next we have another China Glaze polish. This is Violet Vibes. This is a really warm toned purple. It's sort of borderline pink, like a dark pink. 
but it's still purple in my eyes. I did three coats for this. This was really nice. This does have like a Crelly-ish formula, um, which I didn't expect, obviously. Um, I actually expected this to be a lot like Pretty Serious's, I think it's called Snuggle Butt. Obviously the colors aren't that similar, but I expected it to be like neon-ish because this is from the, I think, Electric Nights collection. But it wasn't. It actually dried like a jelly, um, but it has a curly formula, so yeah, I don't know. I'm rambling. Uh, this was three coats. I really liked it. I liked that it was sort of on the line between pink and purple. So yeah, and then the last one is by Look. I swatched a polish by Look before, which I think it was even last month in May. I don't remember. Uh, this is called On the Blue Side, and I love this polish. This is like a... Ah, it's hard to describe. I think the base color is like an inky blurple. Um, it comes off blue in some lights and then purple in others. And then there's this really pretty sort of duochrome shimmer almost. It reminds me of OPI's... Uh, God, I don't even remember what it's called. Something with Northern, northern Lights. Turn on the Northern Lights? Something like that. Um, obviously I can't say if they're actually similar because I don't have that one, but if you're looking for something similar, I think this would be a good choice. Although I will say I have no idea uh, about the availability. I bought this at my local drugstore, so yeah, I don't know. I did two coats for this, if I didn't mention already. It was a pretty good formula. I didn't capture the shift of the shimmer very well. I had a hard time with that, but you could definitely see it in real life. And also, I think in some of my pictures, um, if you look on Instagram, there's some nail line, but that's because of my lighting, so I didn't have that in real life. So yeah, that is it. Like I said, a pretty quick video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to follow me on Instagram to see my swatches, and yeah, see you guys in my next video. Bye!